I want you to eliminate excuses and I want you to ask more questions. What's going on family, it's Jonathan Jones and I'm here with another episode of Beyond the Ball. All right, I know that we've been bouncing back and forth and doing a lot of things lately uh, here on the platform and here on the show, but there's a few things I want you to know, all right? Number one is I am committed to making sure that I give you the best and most valuable content possible, okay? The best and most valuable content possible. The second thing is I wanna continue to help you grow and continue to help you develop, continue to help you elevate. Right. So I'm going to start doing more book review, not book reviews, but sharing books and sharing things that I've learned um, and read from books. But then I'm also going to make sure to share tangible, tactical application strategies to help you grow and mainly to help you be able uh, to get what you need to get to maximize your life. OK, so here's a strategy. The first one I want you I want to challenge you with this right here. I want you to be challenged with this. I want you to eliminate excuses and I want you to ask more questions. What am I saying? So I was at the University of Texas at Austin this past week and I went in and I did a presentation talking to their student athletes, right? Because I love to talk to student athletes because they're individuals who they normalize pressure, right? They normalize pressure, which seems crazy to say, but they normalize it because they have 10, 20,000 people uh, watching them perform playing a sport and then they have to wake up the next day and then go to class and then take a test and then they have to do all these other different things right um, in addition to being a student so they're a student they're an athlete they're brothers they're sisters some of them might be fathers and mothers you know but they're all of these things uh, but the the reason why I want to talk about eliminating excuses is because one thing that I want to just give my um, I want to get my reaction to is just my time at the University of Texas at Austin. So first and foremost, uh, I enjoy being with them uh, because this group of student athletes, they are so advanced in just the way that they operate. Right. I was doing a podcast workshop and one of the biggest takeaways that I had was giving them the instructions. They didn't give me excuses. They just made it happen. They just got results, right? I gave them the instruction on what to do about having them to create a podcast, uh, how to host a successful podcast in a short amount of time. And then they just did the activity, right? I told them what to do, did the activity. I called some of them up. They came to the front and then we did a demonstration. I did a live podcast interview right there on the spot in the middle of the presentation. And they weren't coming up with excuses and towards the end of the presentation, they asked more questions, right? They're like, John, how do I do this? John, I'm considering uh, starting a podcast. How do I monetize the podcast? And I was breaking down these strategies and breaking down these things for them so that they can apply them to their lives. So why am I sharing that to you all in this episode? Because I want us to get better at eliminating excuses, right? Get better at eliminating excuses. Eliminate excuses and then execute at a high level. Okay, so no more excuses, but just execution. And I want that to take place in your mind because we go through life so often and we create excuses when we could have been executing at a high level, right? And one of the things that I know that I've done in the past, I used to make excuses, I used to whine, I used to complain. And then I started to realize that time that I spent whining and complaining and moving forward, I could have been doing actual activity, right? I could have been doubling down. I could have been moving forward. And that's what I want you to do. And I want to give you this assignment, right? I want you to apply the 90 minute sprint. Yeah. The 90 minute sprint. John, what's that? So the 90 minute sprint is how you can go in and how you can write out your to-do list, right? Write down the things that you want to accomplish in that 90 minutes. I typically like to have a to-do list for the day and then I move over some items from that day to that 90 minutes. I list out these items, put my phone on do not disturb. And then after that, I set a timer for 90 minutes. If you need to start with 30 minutes or if you need to start with 60 minutes, that's perfectly fine. But I set a timer 
and I start to chip away those items. I don't hop on Instagram. I don't get on social media around that time. If I do, I redirect my mind. I say, nope, get back to doing what I was doing. Focus on what I was doing. And now at the end of that 90 minutes, I look up and I'm like, wow, look what I was able to accomplish. And then after that time frame, then I take 10 minute break, 15 minute break. I set a timer for 10 to 15 minutes. Well, 15 minutes. Then I'll walk around for 15 minutes. Might watch a show for 15 minutes. Might watch some on YouTube. But I physically get up from my office, wherever I was, and then I go somewhere else to do something. And then depending on the day, depending on uh, what else I have to do, if I go, go pick up my son or I need to go do some other task, uh, then I won't be able to get in another 90-minute sprint. But if through the course of the day you're able to complete two 90-minute sprints, then you're able to do more work than the average person, okay? So think about that, right? Consider what is it that you need to get done today and right now? And don't make excuses for why you can't get it done. Just see, just see how much you can get done. Don't complain, don't whine about it, don't, mic don't bicker, don't moan. But just see how much you can legitimately get done and then move forward through that list, through the things and everything else. All right, so we're about to wrap up this episode of Beyond the Ball. But before we do, uh, I want to get back to doing my Winter Circle of the Week. All right, so I want to get to our Winter Circle of the Week today. Our Winter Circle of the Week, drum roll. The winner circle of the week is Mr. Jackson Prince. He is number 24 for the University of Texas at Austin's men basketball program. He's the host of the Sideline Show podcast. And you can find him on Instagram at J-C-K-S-N-P-R-N-C. And I want to shout him out because I've seen him be consistent with this podcast. And I've watched his following grow exponentially from since he started his podcast. And he's out here and he's interviewing athletes on campus and he's doing what I suggest that all student athletes should do. You start the podcast, then you interview your teammates, your fellow athletes that are at your college and institution. They're right there. So why would we not, right? But shout out to him because he's doing great things. I'm starting to see him get sponsorships and partnerships. And I know he also is a Duncanville alum, man. So shout out to him. Uh, for the work that he's doing and how he's being active in his content creation space. But family, this is Beyond the Ball, and this is where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree, okay? So until next time, family, uh, peace and God bless.